Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Suzanne McKee, and I want to welcome you to this celebration of the official groundbreaking of MMI's newest athletic construction project for the softball press box. Today, we will hear comments from our athletic director, Dr. Michelle Ivey, followed by remarks from our president, Colonel Mollahan. I will then call out the names of those who will be holding a ceremonial shovel for the groundbreaking for the photograph. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge some of our special guests with us today. First, the project architect with Live Design Group of Birmingham, who has done an outstanding job of working with us in the design of the building. Mr. Grant Wright. And next, the contractor who has been awarded the construction contract, Victor Harper of Harper Brothers Construction out of Tuscaloosa. And Victor, thank you, thank you. <laughs> But I have to say, thank you very much for being here today. It's actually Victor's birthday. So happy birthday, Victor. And finally, I want to provide special recognition to the man who made this day possible. He provided the donation to the MMI Foundation that is funding the project. As he lives in Florence, Italy, we are recording the ceremony just for him. So Dr. George Rapier, from all of us at MMI, we would like to extend a very warm and sincere thank you. And maybe in February, when the press box is complete, you can join us for a ribbon cutting and maybe even throw out a pitch, Michelle. <laughs> so at this time, I'll turn it over to Dr. Ivy, who I know is grateful for this day and it's not a day too soon as she is about to celebrate 26 years at Mary Military Institute. Dr. Ivy. Thank you, Suzanne, I feel old now. <laughs> Maybe seasoned is a better word. Um, first, obviously on behalf of the MMI Athletic Department and the Lady Tigers softball program, uh, sincere thanks to Dr. Rapier for his generous gift. Um, as Suzanne uh, mentioned, and those of you outside of the athletic department, you have no idea the days, weeks, months, years that planning this uh, facility has gone through. Um, special thanks to Jeff and Corey and uh, probably the last two or three years of the Lady Tigers uh, softball team for their patience. Um, and so it, it has been a long time coming and um, a lot of prayers and a lot of sweat and before I turn the mic over to Colonel Mollahan, just a special thanks to Colonel Mollahan and Suzanne McKee. Um, I'm sure my frustration um, on, on this project um, has been evident because every, every other week has been, where are we with the softball facility? Where are we with the softball press box? Um, I cannot thank you enough for your commitment and your leadership. Um, making sure that this is a priority and this project um, has come to fruition. Uh, thank you for Victor for finally somebody committing to this project and making this happen. And we look forward to our first home game February 3rd when we fish, like, kick off our spring season and we'll have this new facility and we welcome it. Student athlete experience um, is a, a utmost and priority for us, and especially for our spectators. If you've never been to a home softball game, this place is packed and um, normally have to walk to the Ireland Center for the restrooms. So it will not only help the student athlete experience here, but our spectators that visit campus. So thank you to everybody. And we look forward to having uh, the newest facility on campus. All right, well, I'll finish things off here before we get started with the, uh, the actual ceremonial part. You know, this has been a long time coming. Uh, this has been on our list of things to do ever since we had to tear down the facility that was here when I first got here at us back. I've been here 14 years now. Um, we had to tear that facility down, and we knew sooner or later we were going to have to do something with this. I know often times people look down and they say, wow, look at that nice facility down at the, the baseball field, the baseball facility. Although what people don't know is in order to do these things, you need resources, right? And two resources are key to this. One is money and the other is time. Well, we didn't spend any money actually on that. What you don't know is that was a donation uh, by a, uh, an alumnus who wanted to restart the baseball program back in 2000, was it six, uh, or 2007 or eight? Yeah, 2009. 
and he provided all the all the materials and the construction and did the whole work pro bono. Well, that was nice, but what about softball? We didn't have somebody quite like that to help us with softball. And so this has been on our list of things to do. But as you know, there's a lot of competing demands on this campus. There's a lot of work that we need to get done. And we didn't have a lot of resources to do even those things with for a long time. And so the fact that now we, we've gotten some money, thanks to again to Dr. Rapier. In fact, when uh, he asked us about what we wanted to do with his donation and we gave him a list of projects the first list the first project we put on there was this softball facility so we had not forgotten about it and yes Michelle was always good about asking <laughs> how are we doing but uh, we did not forget about it I certainly did not forget about it but the other resource is time uh, it, there's a it's a whole production now to get anything done around here uh, the first thing you have to do is you have to submit a bunch of paperwork to the two-year system to, for them to review for a given project then once they approve it, it's got to go to the Board of Trustees in Montgomery to approve it. And sometimes that takes time for them to take a look at it. You have to get on a, a docket for a board meeting. Sometimes that could take a couple of months before you do that. And then once that's all approved, you got to get an architect. And then once that's done, you got to go out and put bids out, which we did. And all of that takes time. And in the case of the bidding process, we get the bids back and they were just simply outrageous completely outrageous in terms of what they were bidding uh, to do this this project for we had an estimate at one time the estimate that we put in for dr. repair to take a look at but it's it was a lot a lot more expensive uh, than that in fact we knew it was going to be more expensive because of the inflation and so forth but not that much more expensive it was just incredible so we actually went through essentially almost three bid processes to finally get a good friend and supporter Victor Harper and Harper Brothers Construction, who do, does a lot of work for us on this campus, to come online and finally gave us a bid that was well within the ballpark, no pun intended here, uh, of what we needed to have done. It was still more than we were expecting, but that wasn't unexpected given inflation. So again, Victor, to you, we really appreciate you stepping up and helping us with this project. So now we're here um, supporting this softball program. And the thing that was frustrating is, I'll tell you, we love this softball program. These young women here really do a great job. They've been doing this since I've been here. Uh, they're not only extremely competitive every single year. If they're not in the tournament, they're close to getting into a tournament. And they play extremely well. They're very competitive. They do a great job in the Corps of Cadets, oftentimes having leadership positions. But they really do well in the classroom. They are consistently, if not the top team, right at the top team in terms of academic performance. This last year is an example. They came out of their... Uh, fall semester with an overall team GPA of 3.5. And in the spring semester, the highest in the state was a 3.6 GPA. That's what the young ladies did. So good on them. So we're really, really proud of this program. And finally, finally happy to do something for it, something you all deserve, to have a nice concession facility, a, a press box, some office space, and most importantly, some restrooms so you don't have to hump back and forth to the Ireland Center. So. Anyway, we're glad uh, to have this done, and I'll just say one shout out one more time to Dr. Rapier. Thank you so much, sir. This is really a big deal to us, and we appreciate the donation that's making this all possible. So with that, uh, Sir Zan, I'll turn it over to you for the rest of the ceremony. Okay, I would be remiss if I, if I did not recognize the blood, sweat, and tears of our facilities director, Dan Sumlin. So Dan, will you please come grab the first shovel? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> And for all the shovel holders, you're going to have to squeeze in really tight so that we can get a, a clean shot for the photograph. Colonel Mollahan, Dr. Ivy, our coach, Coach Benson, our assistant coach, Corey Benson, our team captain, Addie Jennings, our senior <laughs> vice president, Colonel Passmore, Our Chief, Chief Academic Instructor, David Ivey. Our Project Architect, Grant Wright. And our Contractor, Victor Harper. And I'm grabbing a shovel. <laughs> Everyone look at me. I'm going to be the main camera. 
We'll take a few, you ready? And we'll we'll take a pose and then we'll start throwing some dirt. Alright, All right, ready? One, two, three, let's shovel. All right. Look up. Go. <laughs> All right, let's, let's on, try let's, that again. Let's try that again. Yeah. We'll do this. We'll do one, two, two three. We'll go. throw and take a picture. Okay. All right, go. One, two, three, go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we we went, Dr. Appear!